Hello everyone, Mycerang here, and I'm playing the Tower Defense mod in Shotgun King, which um, adds a bunch of cards to the game that involve you placing down some kind of token, and the token body blocks the enemies in addition to potentially giving you some kind of benefit. And you get the token, or you get the card back at the end of the level, unless you destroy the. Yeah, unless you destroy the turret, in which case uh, the card gets ripped up and, you know, you just lose your card. So hopefully these effects are powerful enough to justify the risk of losing them permanently. But given that this ammo factory has has probably given me like probably given me at least six bullets that, that would make it that would make it um well it's given me what like 10 bullets maybe i don't know some something somewhere around there it's given me a lot of extra ammo and if i if I wanted to, I could try to figure out how to use it to uh, block body block enemies. It looks like I might have tracked myself here. That's not great. Sure did. Alright, let's try again. Okay. So yeah, the first level you just have to go through normally because you don't have any cards yet. And eh, just um oh my goodness. I'm playing with the Victoria, so I really I really shouldn't be losing on the first floor, like as long as I'm playing somewhat carefully. So we'll 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 be a little more careful this time. Alright. And now, well, okay, now we have to wait, now we can kill the bishop, and yeah, we're, we're good. Alright, third time's a charm. We're going to showcase these cool and powerful turret cards. Like, so far they look pretty powerful. Um, the ammunition depot... I guess that it, it's like a conditional benefit, right? But most of the other turrets are like... They just do damage. What is this? Advancement in gunpowder technologies opens the gate to the most destructive turret, the heavy mortar. Okay, so this card does nothing, but you unlock the heavy mortar. Well, I don't want to do another level with no cards since I managed to lose in the first level. Okay, so yeah, we just... You know, let's put it... It's a sniper turret. Let's just... Yeah, put it there. Um... But I really could have just put it right up against the enemies, because the enemies cannot attack the, uh, the turret if if the turret, if they're, like, right in front of them. If there's, like, a pawn right behind the turret, then it'll just get body blocked as if it was me standing in front of the turret or another piece. Yeah, look at that turret go. It is absolutely destroying these guys. I guess it's, like, the Black Plague card. Which is a really fun card. So I just get the Black Plague in a single card. Okay, what is this? Every three turns, deal two damage to all nearby enemies. Okay, that sounds incredibly powerful. Oh, <laughs> there's actually a limited range. That's funny. Yeah, if it didn't have a limited range. And the, the fact that this doesn't cost a turn. Like, wow, that's... Uh... You know what? Let's, let's put a turret here. I wonder if I could make like a challenge out of beating this mod, beating the game with this mod without firing, without attacking. You know, make it feel like a true tower defense. Um, oh wait, this is, what, two damage every three turns? In an area. And I'm assuming the White King doesn't actually like know to play around this turret. Yeah, it just walked in and died. Uh, I don't want another sniper tower. I want different turrets. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. So, there was a video, like, kind of giving a brief description of what all these things do. Um, I will link it in the description. But this one is... I wonder if the blood altar attacks the gift box. You know what? Let's try it. Just... This is like... Yeah. Okay, so what the gift the way the gift box works is you damage it and then you get a permanent boost for the rest of the floor. I kind of don't want to destroy the gift box. Yeah, so I feel like you just place the blood altar near the king and then like because the AI does not know how to deal with the uh, does not know how to deal with the turret. Can the can the sniper turret attack the gift box? I really hope not. That would be that would not that would yeah that would be kind of weird and annoying. Or that'd be that'd be very frustrating, I guess. But let's find out. I think well, I mean it wouldn't be frustrating. It would just be like probably a bug, and I would report it to the mod maker and say maybe it shouldn't be doing that. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so I gotta be careful with these turrets. Oh boy. Alright, well. <laughs> so basically, I gotta put the sniper tower, like, far away from everything else. Let's, um. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a thing. Oh, undead armies. Okay. I didn't even. I'm not even looking at the white cards that I'm taking. Or I'm not even like looking closely at them. Um. I. Can this turret kill me? Okay, it cannot. Thank goodness. Yeah, that would definitely. That would not be great. Oh, we have bodyguard. Uh. Dang. Yeah, of course the turret goes after the enemies. All right, no more, no more throwing. So we found out that the turrets can destroy other turrets. Um. So, yeah. So, we're going to we're just not going to take too many uh We're just not going to take too many turrets that that I make a judgment that would that I think might be dangerous to each other. Okay, so we got the blood altar and we got the ammunition factory. Um I mean, turrets that do damage are pretty fun. And also there's no chance that I'm going to have my blood altar accidentally friendly fire the other turrets. Wait, what? I I thought this was going to attack last turn. Well, oh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to attack. Oh, okay, so it attacks before the pieces move. But it won't save me from check, because the, the, the check... Like, the checkmate uh, function or whatever is separate from the movement. Blood Altar minus two speed, let's go. And we get two sandbags that do nothing. But they block off the enemy. Yeah, you could just use them to block the enemy. Like, yeah, just, just put this bishop in jail. <laughs> Poor bishop. Yeah, this uh this is a very slow blood altar. Which whatever. 
I could still probably get it to kill the king. Because the, the enemy really doesn't... Doesn't see the... Well, doesn't know how to play around the blood altar. Or any of the turrets. Alright, seven. Okay, cool. Alright, I'll get some more turrets. Another blood altar. Let's go. Alright, if I just put two blood altars near the... Oh, right. Okay, let's just turn the check button thing on. Actually, what if I do this? Um. Oh, I gotta be careful that my blood altars don't just my blood that one a blood altar doesn't destroy that um, sandbag. I don't know what happens if one out of my two sandbags gets destroyed. Uh, the sandbag has a lot of health. Um, oh, it doesn't damage the sandbag. Oh, but I lost. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. These turrets do look like they're very powerful. I think this run, now that I've warmed up and have a pretty decent understanding of how these things work, I think I'll be able to win this run. I think there's at least a... I don't know what percent chance. I can't estimate that. But I think I'm going to win the run. I think there's at least a 100% chance that I'm going to win the run. Literally impossible to lose. With the Victoria. Alright. Uh... I would like a bishop soul. Bishop souls are just a little better than knight souls. Okay. Yeah, I'll take ammunition factory. It's more interesting than sandbags, even though sandbags are probably just better. Especially because that means I don't have to take theocracy. But I can... I can just use this to absolutely stuff that bishop. Like, yeah, now what are you going to do? Ugh, except I can't make it to the ammunition depot to reload my gun. Oh, am I going to lose again? I just might. Okay, not quite yet. Yeah, yeah, because the Dark Squared Bishop was moving out of the way. Dark Squared Bishop is going to move again. Oh, I have a Bishop Soul, so I'll be fine this turn. Okay, and the... Yeah, yeah, the light square bishop got blocked off. Ugh. Alright, finally I get some ammo. Okay, I got two bullets. Oh yeah. Okay, so the positioning... The positioning of the ammunition turret, I guess. Yeah, uh, everything that... Yeah, I gotta, well, I gotta all exclusively take the new cards much as I don't like giving um, giving the enemy plus four health on their rook. Okay, yeah, so I, get, I shoot the gift box to get a buff to my accuracy for the rest of the floor, but I don't want to destroy it. So yeah, look at that, 40 degree fire arc. Isn't that, isn't that nutty? Uh, is this a guaranteed shot? I think... I can't tell if it's guaranteed. I think it is. Well, whether it was guaranteed or not, I got it. So, uh, I guess all's well if it ends well. Uh, I'll just shoot one bishop so the other one runs away, and I think that kind of... Yeah, it mitigates the risk of being surrounded by that many pieces. Look at that. That's guaranteed. Because my fire arc is very small. Um, yeah, we're not going to be uh, reducing this rook's health anytime soon. Yeah, I didn't... Uh, the reason I wasn't in a rush to... Oh, no more... Yeah, no more pawns. Okay. Um, 
I need this soul card now. And this bishop will approach me and therefore block the rook. And... Okay, if I... You know what, let's, let's get a queen soul because queen souls are above average. Alright, let's just... I don't know. Well, good thing I have a... Oh, I never deployed this ammunition turret. What am I doing? Yeah, that would be a that would be one heck of a way to throw the run. Okay, more health. That yeah, that'll let me get one or two more uh, gifted gifts. But I think a card that just does damage is possibly better. I could hmm. Yeah, so I could try to figure out how to. Well, let's let's put this. Uh, let's figure out how we can put like this bishop in jail. Like, I uh, can't quite do it. Okay, I'm under attack. Yeah, I'll just put this here. Put the bishop in jail for a bit. And then once this pawn moves, I'll put the ammunition factory over there because I don't think I care too much about the ammunition factory. It's probably one of the weaker, uh, well, it's one of the more position dependent. Oh, I totally forgot that I was going to block off that bishop. Okay, the ammunition and the altar. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I do not want that rook in there, and I do want more accuracy. Well, I don't really need more accuracy on the Victoria, but I do want it. Um, yeah, I was thinking if I could like get another shot on the gift box, but like, I'm spending time and ammo. I guess turns and ammo. All right, let's angle. Let's figure out how to angle our shots so we don't hit the. We don't hit anything anymore. Um. Okay. Yeah, I. I wasn't sure how I was going to prevent myself from having to use a soul card there. The good thing is, um, the good thing is I'm guaranteed to get a soul card before the end of, or by the end of the level. Hey, I got a rook soul. I would rather have a bishop soul. Yeah, because I end the level by killing a bishop. It makes my ammo factory worse. Okay, so now I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. If I had six blockers, I could put the, uh, I could just put the bishops in jail. But I think putting these two bishops in jail is good enough. Alright. Um... Oh, I messed up, because I can't put my blood altar next to something that isn't a sandbag, or else it will get destroyed before too long. I'm kind of putting myself on a clock here, but I believe in my ability to win this level before the blood altar destroys the sandbag. Um, yeah, shoot that, I guess. I don't know. Any, any turn where I can kill a piece is probably a good turn. Alright. I would like a queen soul, so... Um... <laughs> Maybe next time. Oh, the sandbag... Oh, right, okay. The blood altar is not damaging. Well, let's see if 
the blood altar damages like my gift box and my am ammunition factory. Oh, it doesn't damage any of that stuff. Okay. Okay, that's incredibly powerful. Can't see a gift box HP anymore. I don't need another blood altar. Although, with the setup where we have three bishops and like two of them are next to each other, if I have two blood altars, I can use them to... Like, they can just... They can just win the level for me. Alright, another sandbag here, and then, I don't know, gift box, I guess. I can't see its health anymore, but I know it has four health. And, yes. Oh, I totally forgot. This game is too difficult. Alright, so that will just, that will just clear out those two bishops with ease. And then, yeah, when I need to use this blood altar as a blocker, I can. Um, you know what, let's, let's do, how, let's put it here. Yeah, because that blocks off the rook and does damage to the rook. Except I forgot that rooks have a billion health with uh, Trowel. Yeah, I need to clear out some... Yeah, I needed to clear out some pawns. Okay, I should be safe to soul card out next turn. And... Alright. Have I gotten any gifts yet? I think I have not. Alright, give me Queen Soul. Thank you. Two damage? Oh, yeah. Okay, buff the... That looks insanely powerful. Okay, so it's a buff to my altar. And this is a buff to my chest. Or my gift... Whatever. Gift box. Okay, sure. I'll take the buff to my blood altar, even though it gives the enemy another queen. Like, that just seems super powerful. So we're gonna go up here. And... Um, yeah, gift box here. Um, yeah, we'll put a sandbag here. And yeah, blood altar. Blood altar. Okay. And then when these two, when the pawns move out of these two spots, I have to block them off as well. <laughs> oh, that, that also traps the, the knights. The only piece that has any, any ability to move is the rook. It's just already gone. <laughs> Once per turn... Okay, yeah, Enhancer. Um, okay, well, I think I'm actually going to do the exact same thing. Except I clicked the... dragged it onto the wrong thing. Alright. Oh, except I also... Um, okay, we'll just put this guy in prison until we can figure out what to do with him. Yeah. Now, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, yeah, because I can put a blood altar here. Yeah, I can block those two squares and that bishop can't get out. Oh, and this pawn is blocking that bishop until it dies. Um... Yeah, so once this pawn dies, I'll just make sure to block that square off. Actually, no, I don't want to block the square off. Because I only have one piece left to block stuff off with. Um, 
And I want to be able to use my blood altar to kill this bishop. Although I don't need to do that if I can just... Um, I mean, like, if I can just walk up to the bishop and kill it because nothing can stop me, then should be fine. All right. Okay, so how does the enhancer... Well, why does the enhancer have two health? If I'm... I can shoot. I, I should be able to shoot through it, right? Because that's how it works. All right. Okay, so I do five damage right now. What if I shoot through this? Okay, yeah. I mean that that did more damage. That's cool. All right. Well, I should probably put this bishop out of misery. Okay. So for the sniper tower, I just got to be a little careful. Okay, how many blockers do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven blockers because I can't really, like, put the sniper tower in a formation. Um. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I am... Can I... Oh. I can't put it three up and two over. It's the max of three up and one over. Alright, so this goes... Uh, this goes here. Like, I can, I can make... I can make some kind of... Like... I can make a... I can make, like, a true tower defense like formation here yeah yeah we'll make this we'll, we'll we'll make this work and then once this once this square hmm, and just funnel all the pieces through here like a like a true tower defense game all right um yeah, there's no, like, discovery check that's going to happen to me. Oh, also... Wait, wasn't the one queen at six health? Maybe not. Alright, let's just put the... Let's just put the rook in jail as well. Okay, cool. So, yeah, this, this mod actually, like, certainly does live up to its name. Oh, we can... Well, let's see... Okay, I was I was like getting ready to figure out how to put my sniper turret in range. All right, we'll just get sandbag turret. Um, okay. So we definitely have enough. Uh, we definitely have enough stuff to barricade the entire uh, the entire map. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're gonna just. gonna put blood altars and maybe it won't block off everything until I don't know we'll 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 figure out we'll figure this out it's fine and then hmm yeah so then I want then everything kind of gets funneled to the right and But well, let's yeah, so we have a we have a tower defense thing here. Um I don't know. And we'll make a we'll make like a sniper tower in this corner. I don't think it's likely that the uh that the sniper tower is going to be a liability. At least I think I think the level's going to be finished before that happens. Alright, so now I just wait for the queen to die. Haha, <laughs> look at that. 
they get every they get every tower defense card, so then like I can only just get normal stuff now. I'll take an emergency button. Okay. I think I can possibly figure out a better way to do this. Uh, yeah, let's move closer. Put a blood altar over here. Actually, if I just block everything... Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's actually impossible for me to lose now. Alright, cool. Oh, I didn't know you could get multiple copies of Saboteur. Anyway, we'll just do the same thing again. Um, we'll do it like that, I guess. I don't think it matters too much. And I could actually put an enhancer. Uh, let's... Okay. And when that knight moves out of the way... Okay, so I got... I got an accuracy boost. Oh, I can't see the health anymore. Right. Uh, this is the final level, so I don't actually care if my box gets destroyed. Alright, cool. So now I have a 40 degree fire arc. It's shoot again. So I have a 30 degree fire arc. So now I think I can shoot through this thing, like, with no risk. Uh, actually, I think, I think because of Saboteur, it's possible that I hit my, uh, blood altars. Uh, yep. So that's the tower defense mod. Very silly. Uh, there are some other mods that I want to try out. So I'll do that next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Okay, I have a, I have a nice, you know, let's just use it. That's it. Um, I'm a little concerned why the game is triggering folly shields. It must be part of the mod. But yeah, that's what we're going to call it. Um, different art. Hmm. Oh, I, I skipped, whatever. It's probably the same text. Uh, yeah, like I said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.